In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to disable Windows Update on your computer. This process is particularly useful if you're looking to manage updates at your convenience and prevent unexpected restarts or updates that may interfere with your workflow. Let's walk through this step by step so you can gain control over when and how your system updates happen. First, make sure you're on the desktop of your computer. Once you're there, direct your attention to the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. You'll find an icon that looks like a magnifying glass. This is the Windows search bar, and it's a handy tool for locating various settings and applications on your computer. Now click on that search bar and type in services. What you're looking for will usually appear as a desktop app in the search results. Go ahead and open it. This action takes you to the services window, a critical component in managing background processes of your Windows operating system. As you continue, you'll want to scroll through the list of services available on your computer. Your goal is to find Windows Update. It's usually closer to the end of the list. Look for it carefully to ensure you're navigating to the right service. Once you've located Windows Update, double click on it. This will open up a properties window specifically for the Windows Update service. Here you'll find several options and settings that control how updates are processed on your machine. In this properties window, pay attention to the section labeled startup type. You'll find a drop down menu where you should select disabled. This setting effectively prevents Windows from automatically starting the update service when your computer reboots. Make sure to click apply to save this change. Next, turn your attention to the recovery tab within the same properties window. This is an essential step as it dictates how the Windows update service responds in case it encounters an error you'll see a setting for first failure. From the drop-down menu, you want to select Take No Action. Doing this means that if there's an issue with the service, it won't try to restart itself. After making these adjustments, don't forget to click Apply, followed by OK, to confirm and save all the changes you've just made. And there you have it. Your computer's Windows Update service is now disabled. This setup gives you the freedom to manage updates at a time that's best for you, minimizing unexpected interruptions. That concludes our walkthrough on how to disable Windows Update. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to check out our other guides for more useful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and enjoy a smoother computing experience with this newfound control over your update settings.